Hey, what's up friends? Um, John here. Hey, I wanted to do an introduction um, to start this channel, Go Health Yourself. I wanted to just introduce myself and um, just tell you about uh, a little about a little bit about where I come from and uh, if I uh, stutter or anything and uh, I'm not going to edit the first few videos here at all and uh, if I stutter or just slip up a little bit it's because I'm just going uh, from the top. So uh, yeah, I grew up on the East Coast in the New England area, area specifically, um, and uh, I, I played a lot of sports when I was younger. I was real active, and I have two uh, siblings, two younger brothers, and uh, yeah, I had a pretty pretty easy life growing up. Um, it's like I'd say like upper middle class, or whatever. But I don't like to define anybody with anything. So um, that's just basically just to get an understanding of where I come from and uh, so I graduated normal high school and uh, well not high school but I got my uh, GED through a different program and um, I went to this place called the Barron Institute of Technology for Automotive <clears throat> I got out of there in 2014 no I'm sorry 2004 because I graduated high school in 03 and I uh, worked on cars for a number of years at a shop um, not not far from where I grew up, and uh, I then moved to Florida because I've always loved the tropical weather. Was um, really um, gravitated towards it, um, so I moved down to Florida and actually built sailboats for a little while and did a few other side jobs. And that's where I ended up breaking my neck. I have a, a C5 C6 uh, spinal cord injury, and um, I have use of my arms. My hands are um, my fingers don't work. And I have tenodesis, which is when you can raise your hand up, um, but you can't necessarily go down. So my hands kind of flop back a bit. But um, I got good arm strength, so I use a manual chair for anyone that wants to know. Um, I did use a power chair for a while, and I just got sick of it. Uh, I just was such an active person. As you can see, I move around a lot now. I just, it was driving me crazy. So I got into a manual chair, forced myself to get into a manual chair. And... Um, uh, Regardless, if you're a C5, C6 quad, you can you can build the upper strength uh, to push a chair. Uh, believe me, it's possible because it was very difficult for me at first. And I, I actually modified a bow, bow flex, but that'll be in a different video. Um, yeah, that's that's basically um, basically my background. Uh, I fell out of a tree, breaking my neck. That's another story for another video. And uh, I'm gonna do a little bit better quality with my videos in the future and edit them. Right now, I'm literally just using my iPad camera, which is not too bad. I was surprised the quality for it. Uh, it's not bad at all. But, um, yeah, uh, hopefully you got a basic understanding of me. And uh, like I said in the previous video, which was the in, um, the quadriplegic awareness video, the first video I did, I just said that I'm uh, basically putting this out here to help people in my situation and uh, help people in uh, other just difficult situations. Um, how to uh, take your mind off things and just exceed in life, excel in life and uh, be in a, a good mood and um, yeah just just work towards um, a purpose and have good habits which bad habits with good habits um, I did a lot of drugs before and I had kind of a crazy lifestyle that's the whole reason I, I'm in this chair so um, yeah I hope hopefully uh, you, someone gets something out of this and uh, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Alright guys, over and out.